Alabama has stepped it up lately in terms of quarterback recruiting and development, and they've already found their guy for once the Bryce Young era ends. Meet Ty Simpson, the five-star quarterback recruit who just recently chose Alabama over offers from basically every school in America, and the new rival of the Tide, Clemson. Ty has already been overshadowed by Quinn Ewers and Gunnar Stockton in the 22 class, but he is a big-time player who will have a chance to be the next big thing out of Tuscaloosa. Today we'll talk about Ty Simpson, what his commitment means to Alabama, and why he is their future at the quarterback position. But first, before we get into it, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe if you love college football, suggest what topic I should do next, and turn on post notifications so you never miss when I upload. Now let's get started and talk about Ty Simpson. Ty has been seen as the next big quarterback out of the state of Tennessee for quite a while now, and volunteer fans have been hoping for him to come there and save the program for years. He blossomed into a five-star recruit and one of the top players in the nation, and his recruiting process was pretty fascinating, and last week he finally decided where he was going to go. He decided between three schools, but wound up choosing the Tide, saying, quote, It was really between Alabama, Clemson, and Tennessee. They were all neck and neck. In the beginning of the year, I was going to go to Tennessee, but then with Coach Pruitt getting fired, I started to think I was going to go to Clemson. Then I really started to think about what are my aspirations, my dreams, and what I want in a program. So then I thought the best place for me would be the University of Alabama. This is a perfect example of the new rivalry between Clemson and Alabama, as Alabama is the perennial star with, with the greatest coach in college football history, and Clemson's sort of the up-and-coming new blue blood who's starting to do really well with quarterbacks. So the fact that Simpson chose Alabama definitely probably rubs some Clemson fans the wrong way. But there was also a small school that was in the mix when he made his announcement last week. There was a UT Martin hat on the table because his father, Jason Simpson, is the head coach there. He said he gave his dad's school some national recognition as a thank you for all the help that he gave him during the recruiting process. In terms of picking that school, his father told him to write down what he wanted to accomplish in college that would best help him accomplish those goals. His aspirations included making it to the NFL. With former NFL head coach Bill O'Brien now the OC at Alabama, and with Nick Saban's track record, Alabama kind of felt like the right choice for him. He said Mac Jones' story was also very inspirational to him, and that he knows he'll have to come in, compete, and work for his shot. But if he does, he will be in the NFL, he says, and the Mac Jones effect is real. Since he is from Tennessee, he has grown up in SEC football territory and will have the opportunity to play the Volunteers every year and come home for a game or two. Tennessee was longly considered the favorite to land Simpson for a while, but that coaching change had a major impact. The Vols have been recruiting him since he was in 8th grade, and he had a really close relationship with their quarterbacks coach and OC Jim Chaney. He said, quote, with the firing of Coach Pruitt and some other things that were going on, they fell off the map pretty quick. At least that's what his high school coach said. And he said, quote, basically everybody knew it was Alabama Clemson. Simpson accounted for 2,200 yards of offense and 27 total touchdowns as a junior, and his team went 7-5. and five. He completed 61% of his passes for 1,888 yards and 20 scores, and only had four picks, while he also ran for 311 yards and seven more scores on the ground. On film, you see great arm strength, he has spectacular hand talent, he has great delivery timing, and his most exciting trait is his ability to extend plays. Steve Wiltfong compared him to Brett Favre, and anytime you get mentioned with him, that must mean you're something special. It seems like he has all the tools to be a good quarterback, and I'm excited to watch him at Alabama in a couple of years. For now, we're likely going to see Bryce Young, small chance we see Paul Tyson, and then we'll have Jalen Milrow, who will likely be competing with Simpson for that job in 2023. Let me know what you think of this year's Alabama quarterback battle and what you think Simpson brings to the table. I also recently made a video on Cade Klubnik, the quarterback who committed to Clemson after Simpson spurned the Tigers, and let me know what you think of that video and be sure to check that out as well. Suggest what topic I should do next, give the video a like if you want to support what I'm doing here on YouTube, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out all my other videos on the end screen, including my video I just recently talked about, Cade Klubnik. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.